left your social club in the 60s, they might have had paper records. And you certainly have the paper directory of the members that you can take with you. Um, but the likelihood is that that wasn't copied or copyable all over the world easily. And, and what we have today is a situation with Facebook profiles, for example, where for the most part, if you can go to somebody's Facebook page, you can copy most of what's there today. And you can put it somewhere else. You can store it, you can edit it, you can change it. I actually had an interesting thing happen to the, just this last week. I got a notification from Facebook that the person that I know who died eight years ago had just joined Facebook. Um, <laughs> And then, well, uh, maybe this is another so, so, emerging technology. <laughs> so, the did, you, did you accept? Uh, no. So just call voting but, 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 in Chicago. but the, the interesting thing is that it's very, very difficult in today's with te today's technology to verify removal. So uh, even assume that the business wants to remove the data correctly and doesn't choose to, to make a you know use it for a profile. There could be 50,000 other copies out there of various bits and pieces, and they have no way to get it. And this is a problem with what the Europeans are trying to create, the right to be forgotten. In order to create a right to be forgotten, then you can't have any anonymous data, because you have to be able to track all the data. And, and so the, the right to be anonymous and the right to be forgotten, don't, they, they, they can't work together with today's technology. And also we try to do data framework and make everybody adopt it where we have more data to control how we use the data and we haven't got that either so <laughs>